I just want to remind you, uh, we are familiar, I hope we are familiar with that passage. Um, um, I, uh, no time to for an exposition. But what God touched uh, while I was reading, actually I heard a message this morning and the preacher in that message was referring this scripture, but something different touched my heart that what I am sharing to you this evening. Um, two things, two words touch me actually. First word, um, um, unless, please read that. Unless you repent. Unless you repent. You too will all perish. You too will, will all, all perish. perish. Two words, all perish. All perish. What Jesus was trying to convey to us. Those who were hearing might have been able to understand what Jesus was uh, talking to them. But when we hear those words 2,000 years later, it may not be that easy. Okay, You need to read repeatedly in order to understand what that really means. Um, so uh, I don't have time to explain it. But let me uh, share it, that two words, all perish. Let me start one perish, then I will come to all. Uh, perish is a word that um, we all remember that. You know, um, God gave his one and only son that those who believe in shall not perish, but have eternal life. Okay, you remember that verse. You know, perish, that is not talking about the death or something that is um, uh, worldly or related to our life here in this earth. It is talking about the eternal contamination or eternal death, you know, eternal destruction that the word perish over there. So Jesus is not talking about uh, uh, the, the mode of death. Or, uh, uh, that what the intention of the people brought it over them. They died, you know. It's a, it's a tragic death. Why did that happen? Because of their sin. They are sinners now. More sinners than all other people. That's why they died that tragic death. That The tragedy or the, the way that death happened to that people was brought to Jesus. But Jesus was talking something different. Jesus said to them, if you don't repent, you shall, all shall, will perish likewise. So Jesus was talking something different over there. First one is perish. He was not concerned about the, the mode of death, the way the people died. But he was more concerned about perishing of the souls. Perishing of the souls. The preacher over there, he was saying that, don't think that when I say that you have to you know, uh, you have to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Don't think that in this pandemic, in this situation, we are, uh, you know, we are making uh, our own benefit. No, it is not a preacher or church. And I don't have, you know, uh, I don't have any need to talk to you uh, something like this. At this point, you understand it clearly. But why I am saying this? Jesus said that people perished. Why? And Jesus said, you will all perish. What, what Jesus wanted to communicate to us. Those people were not able to prepare for their death. You got it? It was a sudden that the death, that building collapsed and people died. Many a time we say that, okay, Lord, you know, we know when we are going to die. So, you know, uh, I will get some time to prepare for the death, the eternity. Then I will you know, ask forgiveness to everyone and I will prepare myself and I'm ready to die. Jesus said, these people didn't get that chance. Beware. We may not be able to have that time sometime. Every time has to be a right time so that we may not perish. The second word, uh, Jesus, you shall all perish. What's that mean? Many a time we say that, okay, we are children of God and we are safe. Uh -huh. But Jesus here says, unless you repent, repent. That repentance needs to be a you know day-to-day -day experience. It's not that I repented 10 years back. 
ask jesus forgiveness one year back it's not that every day we had to make sure that i am ready i am ready so if we are ready we are not you know in uh, we are ready in the sense to be with the lord and paul says that it is better to be with the lord we don't have any fear we don't have any fear it's always better to be with the lord why i am sharing these things we have great responsibility many people are passing you know away from this world without knowing jesus christ it's our responsibility that we have to pray for them this pandemic this type of things when they when that happens don't think that people will come back to the lord okay uh, that didn't happen many a time though a small percentage may come back to the lord asking god forgiveness most of the people didn't they have their own reasons and things like this happened uh, in, in, in the past in the history we have a lot of experiences like this and this will happen more frequently that's what the bible says that what the bible in the end days such things are going to happen more frequently what we have to do let's do our responsibility faithfully share gospel to those who have not yet heard it let's prepare ourselves are we ready we have to think about it i'm not i'm saying it to make you you know frightened or to put you in fire and uh, fear but i'm saying that you know, we have to make sure that every day of our life we are safe in jesus we are safe in jesus those people didn't get time they just quickly they passed by it can happen you and me we do not know you know as i said in the prayer we were hearing the news over there in china then we started to hear that oh, oh in india there are few cases in kerala in rani okay fir oh, it's over there aha uh-huh. then we started to hear in uh, in gulf countries then started to hear that in new york but now the the whatsapp um, the uh, a, a link pastor has sent to us if you click it it will say you know um, how far the last death happened how how distant from your place in uh, when i click it it says that only 19 miles away two people died maybe it can be with you know, next day the coming day it can happen very near to my house you know, maybe the after tomorrow it may be <laughs> me or any one of us we do not know we do not know but the question is are we ready let's trust in the lord let's uh, ask god to have mercy upon his I mean, over our people have mercy on god you know over the world as we does it let's also prepare ourselves prepare ourselves because god is our hope god is our hope he is able to save us and keep us you know bless us in every situation let's ask god's wings the, the wings of protection upon our people so that he may protect each and every one of us from every danger let's also pray that god may help us to be a blessing for many others may the good god bless us through these words as well as a wonderful time of prayer also i would like to announce that the coming sunday we are going to have our normal service we will start our english service at 9 o'clock okay all those who attend the english service please come and join us the english service then we will have the break then we will start our uh, malayalam uh, service at 11 o'clock the normal schedule okay um, uh, sorry 11:30 we will start our um, uh, malayalam service so same normal schedule um i'm wondering whether we can also have our bible study we'll start you know uh, revelation book of revelation let's start doing it through online so there are uh, plans for that let's uh, make use of it and um, god is giving us an opportunity to use the technologies and come together as body of christ and god will continue to bless us and by the time we we meet next time okay next in uh, next evening 
God may bless and uh, each and every one of us and keep us safe. Let me pray and conclude this service. Loving God, Heavenly Father, I commit each and every member of our church, those who are participated in this service and those who couldn't participate. Especially we also remember the nurses, those who are working right now in the hospital. Our dear sisters of God, protect your people. Let your mercy and kindness be upon them. Bless them, O Lord. Protect them from every evil. At the time we meet next time, the, tomorrow evening, O God, let your protection, let your mercy and your kindness be upon your people, O God. Keep your people safe, O Lord. We trust in you. Give you all glory and honor. Thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.